the first thing that you have to be able to do is you have to be able to diagnose. And when I say diagnose, you need to be able to diagnose your student as a person, how they will be able to, to best learn, how you're going to communicate with them, and you have to be able to diagnose that person's golf game, and in particular, where their golf ball goes. That's the first thing I learned from John Jacobs. The most important thing is where the golf ball is flying. So you have to be able to diagnose the person. You have to be able to diagnose their golf ball and their golf swing. And then the next thing you have to do is you have to be able to make a plan. You have to have the ability to make a step-by-step -step plan that helps take your student from where they are to where you would like them to be. And, that, and over my career, the, the students that I've always been the, the most proud of are the ones that I've taken from a young age and helped them achieve the goals that they've had. And to me, a plan is a step-by-step -step roadmap that takes you from where you are to where you want to go. And you, as long as you have a plan, you can get to where you want to go. When I first started with Mark O'Meara, I was 23 years old. I was at Pinehurst Hotel and Country Club, which at the time was the biggest golf resort in the world. And I, I had the opportunity to help Mark O'Meara. He was 124th on the money list, and he asked me if I would watch him hit a few balls. I stood there, and after about 10 minutes, Mark said to me, are you going to say anything? And I said, I'm just thinking about what your plan should be. Why don't we sit down, we'll go in, we'll have a drink, we'll sit down, we'll talk about it. He said, I don't have time for that. I said, well, I want you to understand what your plan needs to be in my mind, and then you can decide if you want to do it. And we sat down, we talked, and that was the beginning of a 25-year relationship. Two years after I started helping him, finished second on the money list on the PJ Tour. And after that, all of a sudden, I had a lot of students that were coming to me.